Brokji Hawa Brakatha Yahusha Brokji Hawa Brakatha Yahusha Bahashem Rakakodash double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Slaves and Hush Puppies. Lord will you are edified. Also, this video was inspired by a video I came across on TikTok and this video will be used for fair use purpose only. On fact here, listen, escaping slaves used to throw balls of fried cornmeal out to distract the hounds from tracking them. The hounds stopped barking and tracking thanks to the cornmeal, which later adapted the name Hush Puppies. Did anybody else know that? If you did, make sure you share this with your friends and tag them on. Let them get some history on why we call it Hush Puppies. Well-known fact here, listen. According to the Britannica.com, Hush Puppy, a deep fried or baked ball of cornmeal batter and spices usually served as a side dish. Hush puppies are believed to have originated in the southern U.S. where they are a traditional dish. They are typically made with cornmeal, flour, egg, buttermilk, baking soda, and onion, though various spices and other ingredients including garlic and peppers can be added. The batter is shaped into golf ball sized portions and fried or baked. One possible explanation for the name is that a simple version of the dish was first made by various people, such as Union soldiers during the Civil War fishermen or runaway slaves to quiet howling dogs and according to one possible explanation for the name is that a simple version of the dish was first made by various people and just a spiritual assumption I'm thinking that runaway slaves began this okay <clears throat> going into the creativity of jake this is wisdom of solomon 5 and 1 then shall the righteous man the prophets stand in great boldness via the holy spirit before the face of such as have afflicted him beginning with esau trickling down to these other nations and made no account of his labors. Case in point, the true origin of a hush puppy. Hush puppies was designed to hush the puppy so the slaves can escape from the plantation to quiet the tracking dogs. Last precept. Jeremiah 10 and 16. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Them referring to these other nations. For he is the former of all things. Who is he? And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Who is he? The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. So our portion is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And the Most High is the former of all things. And the rod and Israel, Salakia, my bad. And Israel, which is so called Negroes, so called Hispanics, and so called Native Americans, is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name so in a nutshell our creativity comes from yahweh bahasham yahweh shai such as the hush puppy lord will you edify shalom